friends how do you do i'm so happy to show you how to crochet this summer blouse it's very easy to do i will give you instructions step by step for any size are you ready let's go for this project i'm using this cotton yarn named fiocco from trisfere um, I will use at the beginning a 4 millimeters crochet hook and then I will go ahead with a 3.5 millimeters. A very soft and comfortable cotton yarn. I will suggest you to buy it. I bought it uh, at the link that you find in the information box below. For this project we have to create three pieces, one, two and three. You see one and two front size and these two pieces of course are the same. And then just one big rectangle for the back side, the piece number three. So let's start from the front side. Slip note to start, use 4 mm crochet hook size and chain 49 for medium. I will tell you how many chains for the bigger sizes. Additional chain 3. Into the fourth chain from the hook 1, 2, 3 and 4, yarn over and double crochet 1. Ok, that's the beginning of my row. Now from this point on, be careful because we have to repeat this uh, segment till the end of this row. Yarn over, um, skip the next two stitches into the next one double crochet one into the next one again double crochet one into the next one again double crochet one one two and three double crochet yarn over skip the next two stitches into the next one double crochet one chain two into the same stitch again, double crochet one. So, one, two, three, double crochet, double crochet, chain two, double crochet. That's the segment I have to repeat all across the row. I will show you again without speaking. At the end of this row, 
Yanova, skip the next two stitches into the last one, double crochet one, chain one, double crochet one. Row two, chain two and turn. Into the chain one space, double crochet two. Yarn over into the second double crochet below, double crochet one, chain one. Yarn over into the chain two space, double crochet two, chain one, double crochet two. From here, chain one, double crochet one into the second double crochet below, chain one, again into the chain two space, double crochet two, chain one, double crochet two. Repeat the same till you get to the end of this row. At the end of row two, so you see chain one, double crochet one, chain one. Now yarn over, go into the chain three space and into the first one, double crochet two, into the next chain stitch, double crochet one. Row three, chain two and turn into the next stitch, double crochet one. So one and two double crochet. Yarn over, go into the double crochet below and double crochet one, chain two, double crochet one. Yarn over, go into the second double crochet below, first one, second one, and double crochet one. Into the chain one space, double crochet one. Into the next double crochet below, double crochet one. You see one, two, and three, as we did here at the first row. From here now, yarn over into the double crochet below, double crochet one, chain two, double crochet one. Go ahead like that all the way around. At the end of the row, double crochet one into the double crochet before the last one. And now I have this double crochet made of chain two into the top of the chain, my last double crochet. Ready to start next row, chain three and turn. And now into the V stitch below the shell, double crochet two, chain one, double crochet two, chain one, double crochet one into the second double crochet below, chain one, and continue like that till you get to the end of this row. At the end of the row, chain one 
and double crochet one into the last stitch so into the top of the chain okay one two three four rows i'm ready now to repeat my pattern which is made of four rows only one two three and four repeat one two three and four one two three and four till you get to the needed length in my case with 21 uh, rows i am ready I will show you again only um, how to restart from row number one, chain three and turn, double crochet one into the very first stitch, yarn over, one double crochet into the second double crochet below, double crochet one into the chain one space, double crochet one into the next stitch and repeat the same pattern let's see again at the end of row number 21 okay 21 stitches are made 21 sorry 21 rows are made now we have to do two things first of all to change the crochet hook and so from just a minute so from four millimeter you have to change to 3.5 millimeters 3.5 millimeters this is the first thing second thing is to change pattern so from So I did totally 12 rows with half double crochet. Now I have to change um, pattern once again and I come back to the shell pattern I did at the beginning, the same one. The only difference is that I have to skip some stitches at the end of the row so that I can create the neck opening. So I will start from here and I have to repeat one, two, three and four times three double crochet after that the final V stitch and that's all I have to stop there. And then I will restart from the beginning, the second, third, fourth row, and so on, till I get to 16 rows like that. I won't finish completely my row because I have to create the neck opening. After four times three double crochet, finish my pattern with double crochet one chain one double crochet one and the other stitches are unworked that's my neck opening and from here i will restart next row till 16.
chain 89 for the back side. Okay, my very dear crochet friends, now we have to work for the back side. The back side is just one piece, very easy, because we don't have to create any neck opening. We just have to create a big rectangle going from the uh, from down to the top to the top of my uh, blouse. So let's start chaining 89 for medium. Please eight um, eight chains more for each additional size and use uh, the crochet hook with four millimeters. So you have to work 21 rows like that with shell pattern. After that, change your crochet hook size from 4 millimeters to 3.5 millimeters and work 12 rows with half double crochet. Okay. Now, after that, using always the same hook size that is 3,5 millimeters, work another 16 rows in just one row, 16 rows with shell pattern. Okay, so you are back to the shell pattern. 16 rows for medium. Please add one more row for each additional size.
okay I started the back row the third one with single crochet but in the meantime on the opposite side I already put the stitch marker precisely in the um, in the stitch where I want to create the button holes so totally one two three four five starting from neck opening one two three stitches in the next one the first stitch marker then skip 11 stitches in the next one the second 11 stitches to be skipped in the next one the third and so on till five between each button hole and the next one 11 stitches when we reach this point I show you how to create the button hole in this stitch okay I went ahead with a single crochet now I am exactly in the step where I put the stitch marker every time I meet a stitch marker chain one skip the stitch and in the next one single crochet one and single crochet one till you get to the next stitch marker okay in case you want to make a bigger button hole chain two or chain three skip the same number of stitches one and two in this case and in the next one single crochet one okay I am at the back row so single crochet one in each stitch below when you reach the button hole with the chain one space one single crochet into the chain one space if you did two chains two double cro two single crochet sorry and then one single crochet in each stitch below of course go ahead like that till I get to the end of this row okay now the last refining border on the bottom of my blouse so when I am into the last stitch here enter again the same stitch and single crochet one okay now from here go into the next row below and single crochet one again from here now chain two go into the next stitch after the last two rows of the border in this stitch below and double crochet one chain one again in the same stitch double crochet one chain one and now yarn over twice and one half triple crochet into the same stitch show you once again the half triple crochet yarn over one and two times into the stitch through the first two loops and through the second three loops chain one double crochet one chain one again into the same double crochet one now go sorry now chain one not chain two chain one and go into the second double crochet below enter the second double crochet below and double crochet one that's the segment you have to repeat chain one going to the next stitch below 
and repeat the same shell double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one and now half triple crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one double crochet one chain one go into the second double crochet below and double crochet one that's what you have to repeat all across the row 